Welcome back to the Savage Sullivan Math website. Today we're going to look at a system of equations that's a little bit interesting because if you look at this system, the x coefficients are very similar. These are additive inverses. So we could graph this. We could change this to slope intercept form or we could solve for a variable. But in fact, there is a much simpler way to come to our answer. It's called elimination. So when your coefficients are either the same or additive inverses, you can simply eliminate that variable by adding or subtracting. So in this case, if I just add these two equations together, the x values disappear because negative 4x plus 4x is 0. So those are now gone. 5y plus 6y is 11y. And 17 plus a negative 6 is 11. Now you're left with a very simple one-step equation. 11y is equal to 11. To get y alone, you divide both sides by 11. So y is equal to 1. To figure out what the x value is, you simply just have to substitute this value of 1 into one of the other equations. I'm going to just plug that into the bottom equation. So 4x plus 6 times 1 is equal to a negative 6. 4x plus 6 is equal to negative 6. If I subtract 6 more from both sides, I get 4x is equal to negative 12. Divide both sides by 4, I get x is equal to negative 3. So my final answer is negative 3 comma 1. Don't forget your double check. Plug this answer into both of the equations just to see if you have the right answer. Negative 4 times a negative 3 plus 5 times a 1 is equal to 17. 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. You bet it is. And then 4 times a negative 3 for the bottom equation plus 6 times 1 is equal to negative 6. Negative 12 plus 6 is equal to negative 6. Again, you bet it is. You got it. So now we're going to look at a second example. And it's going to be slightly different than Mrs. Sullivan's because our coefficients on the f are identical. Same sign, same number. So we can't add to eliminate. I could multiply through by a negative 1 on one of the equations if I wanted to add to eliminate. But we really want to be as efficient as possible. So instead of adding to eliminate, we're going to subtract. So if I subtracted these two equations, then we're going to see that the 11f's are going to cancel out. 11f minus 11f is 0. Then we subtract the rest. 14g minus 10g is 4g. 13 minus 25 is negative 12. And then once again, we have a simple one-step equation. Divide both sides by 4. And we have g equals a negative 3. Then it's just like substitution on the second half. In order to get our f, we're going to take this g and we get a choice. You can use the top equation or the bottom equation. Just because I like the top one, I'm going to go ahead and take the negative 3 and put it in there. So we're going to have 11f plus 14 times negative 3 equals 13. 11f minus 42 equals 13. Add 42 to both sides. 11f equals 55. Divide both sides by 11. And f is going to equal 5. Because we don't have it labeled as x and y, you have a couple different options. We can leave it just like this, which is what I'm going to opt to do for now, or we could write it as a point. So if I wanted to write it as 5, negative 3, I could do that. Okay? So, or I could write it as negative 3, 5. But we're going to still substitute the numbers in to check. So when we check 11f, we're going to go back to the top equations here. So 11 times 5 plus 14 times negative 3 should equal 13 if I did this correctly. So 55 minus 42 
equals 13. And yes, in fact, it does. So we are good with that check. Remember with a system, you need to check both equations. So now I'm going to check in the bottom. So 11 times five plus 10 times negative three should equal 25. 55 here minus 30. And yes, it does in fact equal 25. So we are good. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.